Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. I hope you're enjoying the series and I know in previous video we talked about that we are going to do the search feature. However, I think before even we jump onto the search fe feature, it's important to discuss the posts in WordPress because what would you search if the posts aren't available? So we still have to code to... So that brings us to a question that what is a post? and what are different post types. I know that everybody who's worked with WordPress knows about what post is. However, have we actually digged in deeper to find out you know, what are different post types available? I'm confident that you know about it, but probably, but I'm sure you will have something to learn in this if you are not a beginner. So what is post? So WordPress can hold and display many different types of content. A single item of such a content is called a post. So posts are nothing but content in WordPress. So all the post types are stored in the same place in the WP post database table, but are differentiated by a column called post type. So before we get onto the database and show you where do they exist, let's just understand what are different post types that are available in WordPress. Okay, so the first thing is your posts, the normal post and the post type is post for that and the second post type is page and the post type name is page. So what's the difference between the two? What's the difference between post and a page? Have you ever thought about it? Well post is a post type mostly used by blocks normally displayed in reverse sequential order by time. Of course you can change that by changing the query but by default they are displayed with the newest post first. Posts are also used for creating feeds and they can be assigned to categories and tags. So in WordPress you already have post by default and WordPress by default also has page. However, page is also like a post but live outside the normal time-based listing of posts. So Generally, you would display all of the posts on a blog page. However, a page would generally be like a singular thing. You hit on that URL and you go into the single page. Pages can use page templates. However, posts don't. And pages can be hierarchical as well. However, posts aren't. Now, next thing will be your attachments, which are your media in WordPress. Post type is attachment. Then you have revision. So revision is used to hold draft post and any past revision of a published post each time the post is updated so that in case if you want to come back to the previous version of the post uh, before you updated that you can always come back to it so WordPress maintains revisions so revisions are basically identical to the published post which they belong to but have that post set as their parent in the post parent column of the WP post table so I'll show you that in a moment. Next up is your navigation menu. So you already know about the nav menus. The post type is nav menu item for that. So even navigation menu are posts with a post type of nav underscore menu underscore item. Okay, then we have the custom CSS. So if you're wondering what this is, uh, if you remember, you go to customizer and then on the customizer, you have a custom CSS option. So that's what it is. So custom CSS is a custom post type for a theme uh, used to store CSS saved in the customizer additional CSS screen. The last one is change sets. So if you're wondering what change set is, change set post is used to store data for changes made through the customizer during the user session. And WordPress will try to recover them back if your, br if your browser closes accidentally. So the changes that you make in the customizer. Okay, so time for a demo. Let me show you where do they exist. So if you go to the dashboard, by default, these are the post types that are available that we discussed. Of course, you can register a new one and custom ones as well, but by default, that's those are the ones that are available. So this is your post, okay? And then this is your attachment, okay? These are your media. Then this is your page. Then you have the revision, which is again will be the for the post itself. Then you have the navigation menus, which are here in nav menus. These are your navigation menus. 
okay and then you have the custom CSS which is if you go to customize and then you go to additional CSS this is your custom CSS okay uh, what would you can write over here and then you have the change set which is basically your post used to store the data for the changes made through the customizer so in case if the browser closes accidentally then uh, customizer uses the user session to store that information and try to recover that back for you okay sounds good now it's time to go to the database let's go so I'll go to PHP my admin I'll go to WordPress and this is my database so if you go to WP post table which is this one if you click over here and then if you go to browse then on the right hand side you can see that there is a post status so sorry there's a post type so you can see that this one right here is actually the post type this post then you have page for the images you have which are stored in the uploads folder you have attachment okay and then you have revision so for every post WordPress stores a revision post and then similarly for menus also so if I had to just go and search over here search and then I'll go to post type and then I'll say so remind me what was the name that's correct that's nav menu item so there you go so you can see that on the right hand side you can see that post type is nav menu items right so these are your menus you can see that you've got the menu ID and everything for these right okay great so since now you understand about what are different posts post types now is the time to go and discuss about the template hierarchy so in the next video we're going to talk about template hierarchy and then we're going to start displaying the post onto our front end using our theme. Awesome. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And please do follow me on uh, GitHub and as well as on Twitter. My Twitter handle is QuerryTech and the GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And this is the repository that we are working on, which is your Aquila so please just, if you like my work to support my work please start this repository and I'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much bye, -bye.